40 ways that Elohim speaks to his people. 1. He speaks primarily through the written word of Elohim as we read and listen for Yahuwah's spirit to teach. The spirit of Yahuwah was given to us to teach us all things. He primarily uses his own breathed word. John 16 verse 13, John 8 verses 31 through 32, 2 Peter 1 verses 20 through 21. 2 Timothy 3, verse 16 through 17, to communicate with us. He speaks through impression by the Ruah Spirit to our reborn spirit, Romans 8, verse 14. He speaks to the mind of the spirit, not to the reasoning of the unstable mind and emotions, the seat of the sin nature that contacts the world around us by the five senses. 3. He speaks by audible voice to the spirit ears. You hear it clearly as a voice, but in the spirit area, middle, center, reproductive area of the body. The soul is behind the brain area. Five, senses, mind, will, emotions. Four, he speaks by audible voice to the physical ears. The son has a sweet baritone voice of a young man. The father's voice is booming and deep, thunderous. The Ruah, Yahuwah, thundered on Mount Sinai in the voice of the Father and scared everyone except Moses. He spoke loudly to my youngest daughter to pull over now when a car that she didn't see was coming towards her in her lane. It saved her life. 5. He speaks by dreams, night visions, symbolic, clear, remembered years later. Still clearly interpretation is given 99% of the time by the Ruah upon our awakening. His voice clear to the spirit in word of knowledge. Six, he speaks by visions, open, as looking at a TV screen with your natural eyes. Seven, he speaks by mental visions, like looking at a TV screen with your mind, clear, bypassing the mental thought processes. It cuts against our own thoughts and holds us as we watch his vision playing in our mind. Eight, he speaks through visions from another person either spoken to the general assembly or to the ecclesia or to an individual must be confirmed he applies it to your situation as needed dreams and most visions from yahuwah are symbolic warning the psychic world gives dreams exactly as they are going to happen or as they have happened because the devil likes to show people what he's about to do or what he has done the psychic world moves in fortune telling which is about 5% accurate because the devil only knows a shadow of the future. Psychics see things like a plane crash that is about to happen or the location of a dead body in the woods. The devil can only copy Yahuwah's gifts but never copy them exactly. He cannot create anything except lies and deceptions. Never attribute Yahuwah's gifts to Satan for this is blasphemy against the Ruach HaKodesh set apart spirit. 9. He speaks through the gift of the word of knowledge, 1 Corinthians 12, verse 8. This is usually a phrase or single word or at most a sentence which gives the past or present situation from Yahuwah's viewpoint. Sometimes it clears up years of questions. 10. He speaks through the gift of the word of wisdom, 1 Corinthians 12, verse 8. This is wisdom given regarding future events or present events. And Yahuwah's wisdom as to how to deal with a situation his way. Example, Acts 21, verse 4, 11. He speaks through prophecy to the assembly. 1 Corinthians 14, verses 1 and 3. Prophetic word to the ecclesia. Acts 21, verses 8 through 9. 12. He speaks through prophecy. To the individual, as to Paul in Acts 21, verses 10 through 12. This is also an example of prophetic action found so often in Tanakh, Ezekiel 4 and 5. This must be confirmed by the one receiving the prophecy. In that spirit, or it must either be thrown out as not of Yahweh or put on a shelf for future confirmation if there is any. 13. He speaks through prophecy given to nations and heads of nations. This is a job for the prophet in the office of the prophet. 
e.g. prophets of the Tanakh. There is the office of the prophet, which is an Elohim appointed and Elohim trained position. And there is the gift of prophetic, which Paul says all should seek. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 1. Moses wished all of Elohim's children would prophesy. Numbers 11, verses 25 through 29. 14. He speaks through tongues and interpretation of tongues in the Ecclesia. The prayer language, tongues of angel, angel, angels, one receives when Yahushua baptizes them in the Ruach HaKodesh, is not to be used out loud in the Ecclesia. It is for warfare, strengthening oneself in the spirit, and for intercession. If a person speaks out loud in tongues in the Ecclesia, they should have the gift of interpretation and also have two or three others judge the interpretation. Tongues and the interpretation of tongue equals prophecy in the Ecclesia. It is just another way of prophesying. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 10, chapter 14, verses 5, 13, 18 through 19, 27 through 29. 15. He speaks through tongues in the languages of men. This is often used to bring someone to Messiah, as it was used in Acts 2, or to instruct people in whose language you've never learned. 16. He speaks through music, softening the heart so that the Lord can speak to the Spirit. Oftentimes, words of music can be used to speak to us personally or even give us direction in our lives. 17. He speaks through circumstances. When he can't get through to us other ways, sometimes Yahuwah has to resort to getting our attention through circumstances. But this is not the usual way he works. He rather talks to us directly. He speaks at times when we hear the testimony of others, are inspired and apply it to our situation. He speaks through nature. He speaks to us through creation. Romans 1, verse 20 through 21, 24 through 25. 20. He speaks through the word preached in the Ecclesia by those who have spent time with the Ruah and therefore carry his anointing. Only the anointed word penetrates our spirit man. Twenty-one. He can speak through a passing word through someone, whether believer or unbeliever. That triggers response in our spirit to remind us of something or encourage us to do what we know to do. He speaks through signs, wonders, healings, and miracles. Yahushua revealed his nature through these words of the power of the Ruach. He speaks loudly in judgment. The manifested signs of judgment by Yahuwah producing the fear of Yahuwah. He's 24. He speaks to convict us of sin. The call of the Ruach to our spirit to repent. Conviction does not force guilt or condemnation upon us, but is a gentle warning to get right with Yahuwah. Sometimes he has to convict strongly to put us in fear so that we repent quickly. 25. He speaks by personal visitation by the Ruach or by Yahushua, letting us see and hear from him in person. 26. He speaks through sending us angels to minister to us to protect us, to give us a word from him. Luke 22, verse 43. 27. He sometimes speaks through a donkey. Numbers 22, verses 21 through 34. He speaks in unusual ways to get our attention when nothing else works. Often a pet can give us a spiritual message from Father by conveying his love or his warning. 28. He speaks often through his manifestations of peace, joy, Feelings of being loved by Yahuwah, the personal ministry of the Ruach to us in times of need, comfort, holding our hand, putting his arms around us, letting us know of his presence. He manifests these things directly to us from himself, not by human agent. 29. He speaks by human agent to give us aid in time of need, whether money, a home, clothes, a ride to the store or to the doctor, through someone who reaches out to us in love without any desire for personal gain. He blesses us through other people by knowing him and depending on him absolutely for everything. We can be kept from needing to depend on people for our physical, physiological, and spiritual strength. 
30. He speaks by divine appointment. When we have no agenda of our own and totally let him make our plans for us, supernaturally connects us with people and situations that are his planning, arrangements, which no human could possibly set up or work out. It is the most fascinating, miraculous lifestyle with no anxiety or worry. He arranges our appointments and our situations and tells us what to do so that we just have to obey and walk in it. He orders our steps and we just follow the Lamb wherever He goes. This is truly what Romans 8 verse 14 is all about. 31. He speaks to our spirit warnings that can be physically felt, guidance, places to flee to, places to go, people to contact in emergency situations. He lets us know beforehand what is coming so that we can prepare. He lets us know personally what to do. This can be impression or audible voice through dreams, visions, or through his audible voice in our spirit. This comes with his heavy hand. We can feel the pressure of his hand upon our body. We feeling the fear, the terror, the knowing that causes us to be warned severely. It must be heard clearly so he manifests dramatically. We must know him for he will speak to his remnant this way in the days to come. This is a form of word of knowledge and word of wisdom. 32. He speaks to us through the extremely needed gift of discernment of spirit. If you don't have this gift, you may be in big trouble because we won't be able to recognize evil ones in sheep's clothing, let alone the anti-Messiah. Through this discernment, we know the difference between the voice of Satan, the voice of man, our own voice, and Elohim's voice. It takes intimacy with him to know his voice. My sheep know my voice and they follow me. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 10. 33. He speaks in by his manifested glory, his manifested presence. Glory is the word kavod, which means weight. The weight can be physically felt in our body. He comes down to let us know he is there to heal, to deliver, to show himself real. It is when we bask in his presence and in assembly with others or by ourselves. It is something physically felt as heat, vibration, numbness, weakness, where we can't even stand up, drunk feeling, giddiness, or extreme peace, or deep joy. It causes spontaneous praise and worship when the glory comes down. I've seen it cover an entire congregation like a cloud that can be physically seen and felt. 34. He speaks through his fruit. We have supernatural long-suffering patience, endurance, and faith. Having supernatural power to hold on through great tribulation when our own strength and faith fail. Without his manifestation, supernatural overcoming power in us, no one could make it through the days to come. Galatians 5 verses 22 through 23. 35. He speaks through the baptism in the royal Hokadesh, which Yahushua does when we ask for it. Luke 3 verse 16. When we are born again, 1 Corinthians 12 verse 13 tells us that the Ruah baptizes us into Messiah. When we ask Luke 11 verse 14, Yahushua baptizes us into the Ruah for power. When this power comes upon us, he manifests in a prayer, language, in heat, in vibration, in speaking to us, in sound, sometimes trumpets, and other ways. He lets us know he has entered our reborn spirit with his power and his presence. He is not a silent ruach. He communicates to us what Yahushua wants us to know. John 16, verses 7 through 14, 16 through 18, verse 26, John 17, 20 through 21. He brings us unity with Yahuwah and Yahushua. He speaks as he enters our reborn spirit. 36. He speaks in times of intimacy as in the communion, bringing us greater understanding of his great salvation. 37. He reveals his heart to us. The fellowship of his sufferings, his plans, his focus, his headache, heartaches, his joys. He reveals himself his tenderness, his compassion, his love, his kindness. He lets us know his nature, who he is and how he thinks. These are the blessings of intimacy and spiritual intercourse with him. 38. He reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets. He let his people know his secret thoughts, Daniel 2, verses 17 through 22, 
Amos 3, verse 7. 39. He speaks to us to continually confirm in our rebirth. The Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the sons of Elohim. Romans 8, verse 16. 40. He speaks to us through the love of the brethren. Through unity with his body. To strengthen us and support us. This we all need all the time. It is his will to manifest his love from his nature in and through his reborn children. This was shared with us. His name, it, you, the way you spell his name is Y-E-D-I-D-A-H, Yedidai. On August 2003 slash January 2008 and this is uh, the website is www.laydownlife.net I'm sure that there are many more ways that we can hear from our Father but this will give you something to, to think about. To bless our God. Because he hears us when we call. He answers. And many times he answers before we call. Shalom.